I have a lot of nicknames. Mr. Match of the Night, Main Event Max, the Platinum Playboy, the Platinum Mother the Best Wrestler Alive. Welcome to another episode of Outside the Ring. I'm your host, Lexi Nair, and today I have one half of the acclaimed Platinum, Max Caster. Thank you for being here. You look thrilled. So happy to be here right now. <laughs> very, very excited to be here. So thank you, this is an honor. Next to winning a Pulitzer, this was my lifelong dream. And um, I know you didn't ask a question yet, so I should probably shut up. Let's just uh, jump right into it. So my very first question to you is, who are your top three musical influences? Mm, that's such a good question. Top three musical influences, I would say Weird Al, Kenny G, maybe like the three Irish tenors. Now, Max, I know you've accomplished a lot in your life so far, but what is one thing that you have failed at? Um, I guess I fail at being humble and hating myself. Uh, I love myself, and I like to talk about how much I love myself. Um, I talk about all the great things I've done. Of course, uh, being a wrestler here at AEW, being a successful recording artist, being the best rapper athlete in the whole world right now. I mean, that's pretty great better than Damian Lillard, better than Shaq, way better than Le'Veon Bell. There are so many things that, that I'm amazing at that I fail at stopping myself from talking about all these things. I don't know if I can relate, but I hear you. Okay, I think the fans would like to see this one. Can you do any impressions? Um, yeah, uh, I can do an impression of myself um, because I'm myself, and I only like being myself. If your life was one hashtag, what would it be? Um, R.I.P. Hashtag R.I.P. Why? Because I'm killing it. <laughs> Max, do you have any nicknames? I have a lot of nicknames, of course. Platinum Max Caster is my given name, but there's also Mr. Match of the Night. There is Main Event Max. There is the Platinum Playboy. The Platinum Mother <laughs> The Best Wrestler Alive. You know, sometimes, like, if I get freaky, someone calls me daddy. Or sh should I? Uh... If you could have one superpower, what would it be? One superpower, I guess, would be super strength, but not physical strength, but like emotional strength. Um, because sometimes it's hard being the best wrestler alive, and sometimes the pressure gets to me, and I just, you know, you sit, you listen to sad music. It's like, oh, I'm, the pressure's getting to me. Let's listen to Phoebe Bridgers all day. And it's just like. <laughs> what is the best pickup line you've ever used? Um, Usually people just know that I'm Platinum Max, um, but sometimes when people are being stupid and they don't know, I'm just like, hey girl, hey. And that usually does it. That works. Usually, like, hey ma, like you know the Cameron song? Hey ma? Yes. No you don't. Would you rather be able to teleport anywhere or read minds? Well, I already know what everybody's thinking because they're just like, what the max, oh my God. I would probably teleport anywhere just so I don't have to sit in traffic and, and fly on uh, the plane down here to Jacksonville. It would just be nice to go, oh, it's uh, eight o'clock on Wednesday. I need to get to work, bam. And then I'm just at Daly's place. So I would say teleport, just save my time. I like to use my time wisely, you know. Don't waste time doing traffic and travel, you know, just bam, bam, bam. What is your spirit animal? My spirit animal is a squirrel. The only good animal I'll have you know. Squirrels are fun. They're cute and they're free to take. It's a lot better than having to like pay for a dog or adopt a cat. Just take a squirrel, hang out, feed them almonds and various nuts, 
That's what they like. I don't know if you knew that. Max, I know your time is uh, very limited and precious, but where do you go when you need to be alone? Oh, there's so many places. My room, an elevator and I pull the emergency stop, a stairwell. There's one stairwell in my hometown, Rockville Center, that's right by this pharmacy. It's about 14 steps down, all concrete, and there's garbage at the bottom. And I'm sure like disgusting things happen down there, but like it's a good place to be alone. It's nice and cold, nice and breezy. Just, just disgusting. Are you a planner or a procrastinator? I'm, I guess, way into procrastination. You know, sometimes the nights get lonely, and it's just like, Okay, well I could just be lonely or I can save, you know, just help myself out and procrastinate a little bit. So there's nothing wrong with it and it's completely natural. So, you know, I don't see any shame in it. How do you feel about pineapple on pizza? I mean, pineapple on pizza, I know some people don't like it. Many people have said it's the most disgusting thing in the world, um, but you know what? People are free to choose what they want. It's 2021. Is this coming out this year? Yes. <laughs> Stranded on a desert island, and you can only take one album with you. What's it going to be? It'd probably be the acclaimed mixtape volume one, set to be released in 2021. Uh, mainly because I would have the only version with the acclaimed entrance music on it. And everybody knows that I will never and I'm being 100% serious. I will never ever release the acclaimed entrance theme. And knowing that I have the only copy in the whole world and knowing nobody else will ever hear it again and they can never play it on their phones or stream it, I think that's hilarious. And that would, that would keep my spirits up on a desert island. Dead or alive, who would you like to have dinner with? I would probably say like my good friend MJF and he'd be dead. What is your favorite sound? My favorite sound is probably clap. Um, I like to do it mainly because it sets a good time marker for the editor of these videos to just line up the sound, the microphone with the camera audio and just go boom. And so once I do that, I know I'm really helping people, helping people in less fortunate position that I am. Me being a huge star, being in front of the camera, there are people behind the camera and you have to remember that. How selfless of you. So being the lover of music that you are, what was the very first concert you've ever went to? Very first concert I went to, uh, either Atmosphere, which is a rap group, it's not an Atmosphere group, and um, maybe Cormega were the first two like rap concerts I ever saw. Otherwise, it would have been my own concerts, like the middle school choir thing, which, <laughs> Parents sitting through that? <laughs> the worst, worst rib on parents ever. It's like, oh wow, my kid, he's doing so great in school, but we have to sit and watch him and a bunch of his stupid friends sing horribly, right? That's bad. I was good though. What is your favorite food? My favorite food is Pop-Tarts. Pop-Tarts make me big and strong. Uh, and I'm only saying this because I want to be sponsored by them. What makes you smile the most? Probably bothering people, finding different ways to be annoying, messing with interviewers, th things like that. Things that really get under people's skin. If you could trade places with someone for one day, who would it be? I would trade places with you, Lexi. You get the great honor of interviewing the best wrestler alive, Platinum Max Caster. And to interview such an interesting and charming person like myself. Humble. And super humble. Interesting, charming, super humble. What an honor. Do you have any dating advice? Uh, don't date wrestlers. That's one. Also, just like be yourself. That's pretty big. And, you know, it's okay if, you know, things aren't happening right now. You just got to be patient, put yourself out there, be yourself, and don't date wrestlers. This is our last question of the interview. Max, what's a moment from your past you wish you could relive? So many great moments in my life that are worth going over again. You know, maybe maybe when I, I finally signed that AEW contract. And I was, yeah, right? It's just like, put pen to paper. Tony Khan's name is right next to mine. I'm just like, this is weird. This is crazy. Best wrestler alive, best wrestling company alive. It just goes together.
All right. Well, that concludes our interview. Platinum Max Caster, it was truly an honor uh, for you to be here today. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're welcome.